Hello everyone, it's Rain here with Audio Plugin Deals. Today we're having a look at Rigid Audio's Hibernate. It's a synthesizer instrument uh, that's been designed to make soundscapes um, and it's got some really lovely pad-like synths in there. So uh, we're going to go check it out. Uh, as we get into it, don't forget to like, subscribe and also turn on notifications so that you can always know the second one of these goes down. Let's get to it. As you can see here, we have the Hibernate instrument open on a MIDI channel in a blank session. So this is kind of my first look at it. Haven't really tried it out at all. Um, but you know, in the interface, it looks nice. It's purple, which I like. I hope you like purple. Um, and you know, it's pretty clearly labeled. You know, it's easy to see how I might tweak and customize it. Um, so I'm just going to go and start having a listen to some of the patches we have in here. Sounds quite nice, sounds quite nice. Um, let's have a look at some of the kind of variety we have in here because there's quite a lot of different choices. Flux Mines. would work quite well for more uh, sinister kind of backdrops. Uh, let's see. The morph. That's almost like a human-like voice, that sound. I quite like that. And I was talking before about how, you know, the, the interface seems quite intuitive and very clean. Um, so let's have a go with kind of messing around. Let's have a look first at what each of these two layers are. There's an A and a B. So the A is that, that aspect of the sound. So I'm guessing the thing that sounded more like a human voice to me, uh, yeah, it's B. Okay, so we can balance that. And they're panning as well, so you can split. I wonder, what might sound quite cool if we go quite wide. Maybe not that wide, it sounds a bit like two different instruments, but all right, that's cool. And then you have the envelopes here, a um, little graphic depicting, you know, which exactly each function, each dial is affecting. If you, you know, didn't know exactly what decay was, you might be able to figure it out from this. the delayed time and feedback.
Well, um, yeah, that's that's quite fun. So uh, it is indeed really easy and intuitive to just tweak uh, the parameters of what's going on in the synth. Um, and, you know, these instruments all sound really quite lovely. One thing I'm noticing is that all of these are very kind of sustained pad-like sounds, very, um, you know, designed to be long release type sounds. And even if I scale the attack all the way back on this, it's still not very, it's still not um, very sharp sounding, so to speak. So it is um, designed to be something that will swell in and out, um, but you know straight away I'm hearing this could be something really useful for the the film composers out there or something like that. Um, just honestly having that backdrop, one of these uh, instruments could just easily set an atmosphere on its own. I mean, there's probably some really good suspenseful ones. We we might have found one earlier that, um, yeah, if you just want to build up tension within a scene or something. Um, maybe if I pick a dissonant interval. You could just have this something quietly sitting underneath and it will just amp up whatever is uh, going on without actually interfering with other action or other instruments in, in a piece of music. Um, so these could set the backdrop, but there are some, you know, the, some of the, the patches we were playing with before that would sound like they could be quite useful. Um, as a, a predominant forward pad. So what I'm gonna do now that I've had a bit of a look, I'm gonna keep uh, going through some of these and I'm gonna try and make a short piece of music that really tries to show off the power of Hibernate. Um, and yeah, let's see how we go. So we're back, it's a new session. It's a new, well, it's just a new session really, but uh, we're going to go through this this short um, piece I've made, which was just trying to experiment with using Hibernate in a couple of different ways really. And the first thing I did was this ambient pad uh, using just um, the abnormal patch, that first one we looked at, um, to come up with kind of an underlying progression or something like that and this is what it sounds like so this is you know setting the tone and being setting that space that everything else can sit within um, and one thing I like about this patch is it has that little so those jump in at a certain uh, pitch range if you start adding some notes in lower octaves. Um, so you can play around with that um, and it's a quite cool thing that comes in. Uh, and then from there I built another synth layer. And this is meant to be more forward. And then I kind of wanted to see how would hibernate fare as a bassy element and something to sit underneath everything that else that's going on. So tried to make a bit of a bass with it and I'm I'm quite happy really um using 
using deep rivers and what was cool was it was having those low frequencies but then adding little nice harmonics and cool things over the top as well and I didn't want to entirely cut those off because um, having them creep through into the mix from time to time um, sounded quite cool but it was predominantly having that low bassy element um, and so in combination with everything else so it really gives it that weight underneath then I thought this piece kind of wants some strings and I had so I added those and I, I had an idea for some piano melodies um, and I put together this weird thing that's it's not an ambient piece um, it's not entirely relaxing because I decided to put uh, weird tense harmony in there um, because I couldn't resist um, but you know this is like you're on a meadow and a meteorite floating through space I suppose that's the best way I can describe it. Tell me what you think. Well, there you go. So that was, uh, you know, just something I, I quickly put together after messing around with Hibernate for a while. Um, but I think there's definitely a lot uh, of scope to be quite creative with it. Um, I think it's quite an exciting instrument, um, despite the name not putting me to sleep, um, unless you want it to, because it can do that as well. Some very pleasant sounds in there. Yeah, really cool little instrument there. Um, and as I said, really easy to use. I mean, we love an interface, it's this simple, right? It's never gonna be scary. Um, and it's really clear what everything does. So um, yeah, definitely go check out that deal while it's available on the Audio Plugin Deals website. Uh, and yeah, as I said before, don't forget to subscribe and, and like the video as well if you enjoyed it. Uh, that's all from me for now. See you next time.